It's Sunday at the College of Advanced Sports Handicapping. I'm Kelso Sturgeon here to uh, uh, deal out a few facts and figures and a few handicapping hints on uh, today's NFL schedule. A lot to talk about. Before we get to that, uh, let me do a little uh, commercial work here. It's what makes the world go round. Uh, first of all, I'm releasing my second 200-unit uh, NFL uh, play of the entire season today. I won the first one, my NFL a game of the year, a 200-unit play, as Buffalo uh, buried the Washington Redskins 23 to nothing. Now today I'm coming back with my 200-unit NFL blowout game of the year. I'm looking for this game to win much easier than did the Buffalo in that 23 to nothing shutout of the Washington Redskins. You don't want to miss this game. Uh, also releasing another 50-unit uh, uh, NFL game of the week today. I got the cash last week with the Atlanta Falcons. Uh, coming right back today with another 50-unit game of the week. Six and one uh, in these games this season. And also my best bet club uh, uh, package. Three games, three NFL standout plays is highlighted by the uh, Jets at the Washington Redskins game. You can get that that package for just fifteen dollars. Now you know uh, nothing ever surprises me uh, in the NFL, but I've got to share with you what I think is the NFL joke of the season. Now you've got to understand, uh, uh, as we well know, the Indianapolis Colts are 0 11, absolutely helpless uh, without uh, quarterback Peyton Manning, who's been out all season with a neck injury. Uh, this is a team that's offensively bankrupt. Uh, they average 13 points and 280 yards in offense in each game. I mean, have absolutely no offense whatsoever to uh, be competitive with almost anybody. But they took a major step today to, uh, 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 or this week, to, to alter that situation and make things better. Now, here's a team with no offense at all, so what did they do? They fired the defensive coordinator. Uh, you figure it out. I, I don't even understand it, but that's the way life is sometimes in the NFL. You know, uh, lost on a lot of people the fact that the Green Bay Packers, who uh, are at the uh, New York Giants today, are going for their 18th straight win. That's big-time football, to say the least. You know, I said at the beginning of the season, the Packers were three points better than any NFL team, and uh, I certainly believe that I've been proven right. Anyway, uh, the, pa the Packers going for 18 straight today, and here's a couple of interesting notes about uh, quarterback Aaron Rodgers, who just absolutely uh, continues to uh, amaze people. You know that he has thrown at least two touchdown passes in every game this season. He has 33 touchdown passes to just four interceptions, and he's a, he, he absolutely avoids a sack. He gets sacked like once in 14 uh, passing plays, an unbelievable, downright remarkable figure. Now, also in the NFL today, there are five teams playing with backup quarterbacks, uh, the Indianapolis Colts, the uh, Houston Texans, Chicago Bears, Kansas City Chiefs, and Miami Dolphins. Just something to keep in mind. Also, <clears throat> if the NFL playoffs began today, here are the six teams in each conference that would be in. Uh, first, the NFC. Here would be the six teams that made the playoffs. Green Bay, San Francisco, New Orleans, Dallas, Chicago, and Atlanta. In the AFC, it would be Houston, New England, Baltimore, Oakland, Pittsburgh, and Cincinnati. Obviously, there are other teams alive, and you need to pay attention to them. Uh, it's, uh, uh, you know, it's, it's, a, it's a crazy season in the NFL, and as we head into uh, uh, the, uh, the 12th week of play, or actually it's the 13th week of play, uh, the 12th series of games, the, there are 20 teams that still could make the playoffs, 20 of the 32. Keep it in mind, there's a lot of incentive-driven football today. Now, uh, let's just uh, make a few comments about uh, 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 some of the games today. Uh, might give you a little edge. We have uh, the Dallas Cowboys uh, at the Arizona Cardinals. The Cowboys are six and Open a six and a half point favorite, been bent down to four and a half. I guess this was on the news that Kevin Cobb would return as the starting quarterback uh, for the Arizona Cardinals today. Uh, a thought here that's very interesting to me. You know, DeMarco Murray, a rookie running back, uh, uh, inherited the starting running back job at Dallas because of injuries. And you know the Cowboys are five and one since he started at running back. He's a phenomenal player. Uh, weigh that as you consider these games. We have the Atlanta Falcons at the Houston Texans. Uh, a very interesting game. Atlanta's a three-point favorite, basically because 
uh, uh, Houston is one of those teams that's run out of quarterbacks. Uh, uh, Matt Schwab and uh, and uh, uh, Matt Leinert both out. Uh, Houston starts today again. Rookie uh, T.J. Yates out of North Carolina. Bad spot to be in. He's facing one of the hottest quarterbacks in the NFL in Atlanta's uh, Matt Ryan. Matt Ryan over the last four games has passed for 1,204 yards, thrown nine touchdowns and just two interceptions. Now we have Baltimore uh, uh, playing at uh, the Cleveland Browns. You know, very interesting thing. Cleveland has given up 27 sacks this season. Uh, the Baltimore Ravens lead the NFL in sacks, and last week uh, uh, sacked uh, the San Francisco quarterback nine times in one game. It makes you wonder uh, uh, how shaky uh, the uh, Cleveland offense is going to be against a team uh, with as fierce a pass rush as uh, uh, the Baltimore Ravens have. And the Ravens are also playing uh, their top uh, their top football right now. You know. Uh, we have the Carolina Panthers uh, at Tampa Bay. Tampa Bay is a three-point favorite. Uh, I would say probably as shaky as any, as any favorite on the board. You know, uh, Tampa Bay has a terrible run defense, and Carolina uh, absolutely runs the football on everybody, and that includes quarterback Cam Newton. You wonder who will uh, dominate here. The team with the uh, running game uh, facing the team with uh, no, no uh, rushing defense. Uh, uh, it's a it, it's a tough number as far as I'm concerned. I'd be a little tempted to take Carolina plus the three, although that's always a risky operation. Now we have the Kansas City Chiefs at the uh, Chicago Bears. Uh, a little quarterback uh, uh, information here. Uh, obviously, uh, Chicago will be without Jay Cutler, who's out for the season. Caleb Haney gets his second start. You can look for him to be much improved uh, over his game last week at Oakland. Uh, he's a good quarterback, and uh, I think he's a suitable replacement. He's not as good as uh, as a Cutler, and don't let me imply that, but he's adequate in this spot. Kansas City may well start Kyle Orton, who they just uh, picked up after Denver cut him. Uh, Tyler Palco is not getting the job done, so uh, you might want to wait to the last minute to bet this game. Uh, with uh, Try to find out who the starting quarterback is for the Kansas City Chiefs. Now, you know, uh, this is... Uh, la you know, everybody keeps knocking uh, Tim Tebow. He's 5-1 and one in six starts, uh, running the read option offense, which nobody seems to know how to, uh, to, uh, to stop. Uh, he's at uh, Minnesota today. Minnesota is one of, is all across the board here. In some places, Minnesota's minus one, and others are minus one and a half, and others are minus two. Uh, uh, two factors you must consider uh, if you're going to play Minnesota today. They will start, again, start uh, quarterback uh, Christian Ponder, a rookie, and they probably will be without running back Adrian Peterson, who has a very painful uh, ankle injury. Now, last but not least, we have the Detroit Lions at the New Orleans Saints. You know, uh, a lot of people have criticized uh, Detroit quarterback uh, uh, Matthew Stafford uh, because of the nine interceptions he's thrown in the last ten quarters. But I'm going to tell you something. I've watched these games, and Detroit is very predictable in what it's going to do on offense. And I think that, that makes... Uh, uh, Stafford many times a sitting duck. Uh, if if Detroit doesn't come up with an alternative game plan that keeps the defense guessing, I mean they're dead in the water. New Orleans is uh, at the absolute top of its game now, a nine point favorite in this one. That's a big number, uh, and I'll let that be your call. Thank you very much for tuning in today. Uh, I'll be back here on Monday morning with uh, a, a fresh report on Monday Night Football and and. Uh, kind of wrap up what's happened on the weekend and what it means as far as the, the bowl games go. And just remember, today, my 200-unit NFL blowout game of the year, I'm looking for a 30, 35-point winner uh, with this modest favorite and believe I absolutely will take down the money just as I did in the only other 200-unit game that I released this season, uh, the Buffalo Bills, 23 to nothing over the Washington Redskins. You can get all of my football and basketball plays on this website and toll-free at 1-800-755-2255. I accept all major credit cards, and I intend to break the bank for you today. Thanks for watching.